Good morning, people. It is Sunday morning. <clears throat> Y'all see my voice is already like in and out because it's the morning. So um, it's Sunday morning. I'm headed to give my 90 year old grandmother a makeover. So my grandmother is um, battling uterine cancer. She just completed her radiation. So I'm going to make her feel and look pretty today um and she's excited i bought her makeup for christmas she loved that she um got some makeup so i'm gonna go apply it for be her face and i'm carrying you all along with me on the journey so we can see her before and after her um reaction and everything okay all right y'all so let's go next time you see me we'll be at her house about to start my grandmother's makeover just a disclaimer i did sterilize and clean all the products that i used today I did wear a mask when being very close to my elderly grandmother here's all the products that we'll be using i got my morphe brushes we have our sponges i'll be using the la girl foundation on her as well as the revolution makeup banana powder we have our palettes so we're gonna go on and get started all right you guys so i am going in with my smashbox photo finish primer so i'm just placing that everywhere and i'm going to make sure to massage that in really really well for my grandmother this should help the makeup just stay and lay and diminish any wrinkles or creases so now i'm gonna go in and just do the eyebrows my grandmother has very long eyebrows i don't think she's ever had them waxed <laughs> waxed for real if so it's been a while so i'm just trying to actually create her a shape her eyebrows are pretty gray with like a little hues of black so i'm gonna go on and actually create a line and fill it in and just give her kind of a shape um that you can see that's really defined <laughs> that said it wow <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm just going in on the other side and just, you know, trying to make them look like sisters, not twins. <laughs> I'm just filling it in. Okay, they looking good. It's coming together, yes. Come on, Granny. <laughs> and then I'm going in with the concealer right now. Honestly, like a lot of my grandmother's makeup that I bought or that I'm using, it wasn't an exact match. So y'all are about to see me do a whole miracle up in here. Like it's about to come together. But, you know, if it looks a little ashy or whatever while I'm doing it, you know, just trust the process. Play your girl, all right? Because granny gonna be real, real cute. You guys, my grandmother is a real life glam girl. She was telling me while we were doing her makeup how she had all these products at her house. But mind you, these products are probably about 20 years old. Because this concealer is so light, I had to make sure I really took the time to blend it in as much as possible so that it didn't look like, <laughs> you know, crazy. So right now, as you can see, I am taking the LA Girl foundation that I bought her and just blending it in with the pandemic and everything and what she's been through. It's just hard to try to really take someone somewhere to get matched because they're barely even letting you match the products at this point but she is so excited to have um this makeover and get her makeup done she was so excited for me to come over it was so cute and as soon as i put the camera on child she was acting like a little prim queen ready to be pampered and get beautified this afternoon because if you didn't know my grandmother said she is the most famous person in her family okay not megan but she is the most famous person. So right now I'm just taking the concealer and you know, we are gonna blend that in, get rid of some of her dark circles um, and other things and just kind of put a little highlight on her face and get her, you know, looking like the star that she says she is. So right now I am putting the Makeup Revolution banana powder on her. So we just gonna let her bake for a little bit as I start to begin and do her contour. You know, I have to pucker up, get them cheekbones. You know, have her looking like looking look real slim. Mm -hmm. You know. <laughs> and the contouring stick that I used was from Makeup Revolution as well. 
um, it's their foundation stick. So right now I'm just going in and blending, blending really good, kind of give her a definition of her cheek and, you know, doing what contouring does. Okay, and Miss Catherine's look is coming along great, if I do say so myself. Yes, honey. Get it, Meg. <laughs> Child, I'm getting nasty with the blending. I'm, I'm doing miracle work. This is God's work right here. <laughs> and right now, I'm just putting a little concealer over the eyelid so that the eyeshadow that I'm going to put on her just kind of sticks better, lays better, and, is, and shows up just a little bit more pigmented, even though I'm using very, very, very neutral eyeshadow shades on her. The nude eye color palette I'm using is the Nude Colors, I think, 2 by ColourPop. You can find it at Ulta or on ColourPop.com. And it's the perfect go-to grab-and-go color palette for anyone. This color palette does have different shimmers and glitter. So, you know, be careful. As you can see, I'm trying to wipe her eye, make sure none of that glitter dust gets in her eyes or anything like that. You know, it's just meant to be on the eyelids for a little sparkle, maybe that's it. Now I'm just going to go in and add a little blush. So the blush I'm using is the Morphe blush set. It comes with three very neutral blushes. It's pretty good for any skin tone. It gives you plenty of options with the three blushes that you can blend, mix. And you know, I'm a girl. I like to mix my blushes. I know I had to fix my grandma's bang. Okay, I had to get her right before we showed you all the finishing product. Get her together, honey. Making sure she looking good. And then I use the Morphe Luminous Finishing Spray. And then I'm about to line her lips with my fave, my MAC Cork Lip Liner. Y'all, like, that lip liner is the goat, honey. And then I'm going to finish her off with a little gloss by NYX. Mm -hmm. 